when you're looking at the difference between Six Sigma and Lean Six Sigma, the only difference is one's manufacturing and the other's process. But both of them are processes. The Japanese are building a car, and if you look back into the 1930s and you look at today, have they improved? Are they at the top? They beat General Motors, General Motors too. But there's there's a lot to be learned. And General Motors got greedy, maybe sloppy, but I mean, I get a company car and the door falls off, I know something's wrong. And and I worked for I worked for a gentleman who was the president of Volvo. And I said, how did you manage to get so successful at selling a Swedish car in the United States. And the answer was, we had a better product. And the, so it was the process that got them the better product, that got them the customers. Now Volvo's, you know, now it's Ford. Well, it went down a little again, but that's the way it goes. And so you got the chicken and egg. Do you want to look at the process? Do you want to look at the beginning or the end? How, which comes first? You want to look at the process first with the people? Who knows? But what happens is you end up with the chicken and egg the wrong way. All right? You end up with a one-time deal. No more eggs, no more chicken when it's gone. And that's what happens with the organizations that look at, at something to fix a band-aid, a process. It's not a band-aid. Ongoing process.